How to survive a 14-day Korean government facility quarantine. Step 1. Hello, everyone. Today, uh, today, government facility. Oh, this is actually a really nice hotel. And the toilet. And if you don't know Korean, you will now. And the sink. Except for the fact that I'm forced to stay in here 24/7 for two weeks. It's actually a pretty solid accommodation. So there's not a lot of space in here, as you can see. I took the beds and put them up against the wall, actually, so that I have more room for myself and I can do little home workouts. I actually watch uh, this one girl's channel, Mad Fit. She has a lot of home workout videos, very easy to do. Great way to stay in shape and still feel really good about yourself. You need to find a routine for the day. My routine consists of waking up in the morning and making my own pour over coffee using this little contraption, which um, I'll explain in another video. I won't get into that right now. I personally like coffee, so that's why I focused on this. And then other things throughout the day. So what I like to do is I'm trying to learn Korean, which is why I'm here in the first place. Actually, I was inspired to make this video by watching a girl do her, what was it? A video about her Korean progression and recording yourself is very helpful in learning about yourself and visit my girlfriend oh and then also find um, a hobby that works for you something that you enjoy doing I like making videos so with that the video making and the working out and learning a language that pretty much fills the day so if I have that routine throughout the day then the day goes by pretty fast actually and I don't feel like I'm just like checking off the boxes until day 14 is over and you actually can not only just go from surviving a quarantine here at the facility but you can actually dare I say it enjoy your experience and live you want to live not survive okay so step two after you've done everything you can for yourself you've made the room yours you made it, the space comfortable you have a routine they don't give you a lot of resources and you have to do your laundry in here and you have to uh, take all of your meals in here which they do provide you one at 7 30 one at noon and one at 6 p.m i think regular meal times but it's, you know, it's like what you imagine a cafeteria lunch to be like. Basically prison food. It's not incredible. So to jazz it up, call in the cavalry. Basically get somebody to send you things while you're in quarantine. I'm lucky I have a girlfriend. That's why I'm here in the first place. And she sends me things like this cool ramen pot. <laughs> items from a care package from the boo. Sarange. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Uh, pro tip, voltages do matter. I did a little experiment and tried to plug a 110 volt into a 220 and fried my water kettle. Also, the floor is kind of dirty, they don't always clean it, because even though I'm in a hotel room, uh, this is not, it's not staffed by hotel staff. So you're not getting the normal daily accoutrements, like, like a daily cleaning of the room, turn down service, uh, replenishing supplies like that. So you gotta kind of forge on your own. Uh, I believe you can get things online and just have them sent to your hotel and they will pick it up and give it to you but if possible it's better if you have uh, somebody bring it to you so yeah they don't provide you any slippers so I have these slippers that she sent me so that I don't get my feet all gross and dirty one other thing is they do not give you alcohol <gasps> no and they don't allow you to bring it in either <gasps> 
No! Those of you who are used to having a drink or so every so often, you're not going to get that. But that's why the routine is helpful, because then you can, uh, you know, you're not thinking about having to drink and just watch TV all the time. You can actually get something done or learn a new skill and actually have a good time. But to sum it up, basically, you want to be innovative, you make the space yours, and you make yourself comfortable. If you can, try to get somebody to bring you things that make your experience a little bit better. Cheetos! Oh! Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hopefully I'll show you in another video what to do with this cool ramen pot setup, how to make your own coffee, oh, and then explain how the process goes from going from the airport to the quarantine facility. Onurin, yokikachi.